Donald Trump hitting back while Democrats take their lawfare to unprecedented levels. They could now start seizing his iconic properties. The former president has just six days to fork over nearly half a billion dollars in his civil fraud judgment. Or New York Attorney General Letitia James could throw a padlock on Trump Tower. Trump's lawyers say that making the $454 million bond is practically impossible under the current circumstances. But Tish James has been fantasizing about this moment for a long time. If he does not have funds uh, to pay off the judgment, uh, then we will seek, uh, you know, judgment enforcement mechanisms in court. And we will ask the judge to seize his assets. We are prepared to make sure that the judgment is paid to New Yorkers. And yes, I look at 40 Wall Street each and every day. Donald Trump unleashing on the Democratic lawfare against him. Listen. I built a great company, uh, one of the greatest companies anywhere in the country, especially when it comes to real estate. I have some of the greatest assets in the world. And this is a rigged trial. This was a rigged trial by a crooked judge and a crooked attorney general. They'd like to take the cash away so I can't use it on the campaign. And this is just a corrupt group of people. It's election interference, and we'll see how the courts uh, rule on it. But this isn't just about getting Trump. It has much bigger implications for the country. Shark Tank star Kevin O'Leary not mincing words and how outraged he is over the whole thing. You think about America, the reason this is the number one economy on earth is that we have laws and we have due process and we have property rights. It attracts foreign capital from all around the world. All of that is being shaken to the core here. It has absolutely nothing to do with Donald Trump at this point, in my view, and it is completely bipartisan. This is an attack on America. No one is going to put any money to work in New York in, in these amounts until this thing settles down. The whole world is watching, and everybody's waiting for one thing we haven't got yet, adult supervision. Jessica, do you think Tish James has conducted herself professionally? She's out there eyeballing 40 Wall Street, kind of relishing being able to seize it? I don't think it's ideal. No, and I think that what she said on the campaign trail was definitely inappropriate, that that was part of your pitch to the people of New York, that you were the one that was going to get Donald Trump. That doesn't mean that he didn't lie and inflate the value of his assets between $800 million and $2 billion. Of course it doesn't, but it's not a great side-by-side -side picture, obviously, to hear her talking like that. And I mean, it was interesting when... The news came out last night that 30 companies have refused to give him the money for his appeal bond. He got the money for the E. Jean Carroll settlement. Um, Schwab gave him that, uh, gave him the bond. Um, people were rejoicing, right, saying, well, this guy who's supposed to be so wealthy, right, doesn't have the cash to do it. And Mark Cuban, of all people, came to his defense on Twitter and said, I really don't like Donald Trump. I'm not voting for the guy. I think he's unbelievably corrupt, et cetera. But there's a difference between your net worth and what cash you have on hand. And the people who work in real estate famously are not keeping a lot of cash. But the problem is, is that Donald Trump told us that he had the money. In April, he was in a deposition for this case. And he said, developers usually don't have cash. They have assets, not cash. I have over 400, fairly substantially over 400 million. That's just cash. That's just cash. So when was Donald Trump lying? Because he was either lying today or he was lying then. Well, he has $400 million nope. in cash. He, he just doesn't he said have $454. That, he said, yeah. I have substantially more than that. And you're telling me that the $54 million is the problem here? It's not. The issue is, is that we have no idea what's actually going on with these properties, how many mortgages he has out. That, that many companies don't say no to you oh. unless there's something wrong with your assets. That's not and true. Mark has Levin ever... went on Twitter last night saying, no. Where, why are there no Republican multi-billionaires offering to lend Trump the funds? Because the man is a credit risk, because the man lies about all of these things, and that's how he got into this level of trouble, and because he's going to be tied up in court. He doesn't have a sugar brother like the Hunter Biden does. How Judge, there's never been, there's never been a, a bond this high in the I history of the United States. I think this is time to talk about how 
uh, Joe Biden lies? Because that's how Jessica would answer this question. Well, Jessica, Look, just here's it the bottom line. It's more than $454 million. It's 120% of that. That is almost a half a billion dollars in cash. Give me a break. And I'll tell you why they don't want to take a risk and give them that money. The reason they don't want to take a risk and do that is because they, this, this market, this real estate market in New York is very, very vulnerable. Nobody knows what the valuations are worth anymore. New York is now a crime-ridden city. There is crime all over, immigrants all over. They're about to go bankrupt because of the immigrants in the hotels and all the areas of New York City. And there's another reason. Not only is New York unstable because of the Democrats who've literally destroyed this city, but because of the fact that people in business fear Letitia James. They fear an absolutist, authoritarian, totalitarian, I will get him. If I ran for office under that line, they would have had me out on ethics grounds before I even made it to the office on the first day. But let, let me say one thing. No private company has ever been faced with this kind of money that they had to put up in order to appeal. Mm -hmm. Everybody understand, this is just so he can appeal. If he doesn't come up with a half a billion dollars in cash, he can't appeal the case, which on Eighth Amendment grounds of the Constitution is an excessive fine by anyone's analysis. And finally, the thing, and I heard this today, is maybe it's time for him to go to federal court on this Eighth Amendment claim so that he gets some kind of repose or something that gives him the chance to hold on for a minute. And by the way, her, her drooling, I look at 40 Wall Street, everything, that is beneath the Office of Attorney General. Stop being so trashy in the way you approach this defendant and in the way that you approach the resolution of this. Greg Gutfeld. You know, I'm old enough to remember when the Democrats predicted that Donald Trump would operate like a mob boss. Do you remember that? From Morning Joe to, to Rachel Maddow, he was the godfather. He was going to, like, he was going to extort. It turns out they were actually laying the groundwork so they could exact mob justice. You can predict what the Dems will do by the accusations of the people they don't like. Trump's inciting racism, they said in 2015. Then five years straight, they incited enough racism to cause billions of dollars in incinerated cities. So... If you're not worried now because you're not a billionaire named Trump, then you're missing, you're missing the big story. We are all open game. They choose the person, they find the crime, they work out a law or the interpretation of a law, and then they get you. Inflated assets, this is part of the real estate world, and the banks didn't have a problem with it. If you looked at this as a movie, who are the good guys? Well, find out who the victims are. Oh, wait, there are no victims. So it's the person that is prosecuting somebody on behalf of people that don't exist. Where would that money go? Oh, it's going to New Yorkers. What exactly does that mean? Would that go to a homeless program? Do homeless programs even exist? What happened to the $800 million? If this were a movie, the bad guy is Letitia James. As much as you hate Donald Trump, he is the victim here. Every day I spend in New York, I wonder who's next, right? Because now they can do it. It's not whether they should do it. That doesn't matter. It's because they can do it. I don't know if the Democrats know what they're doing. You know, when you imprison nonviolent political opponents while you don't imprison violent allies of your own, again, look outside or look at the, look at the riots, you know, throw Peter Navarro in, in prison while he's on appeal, but not Hunter Biden while who's on appeal reverse engineer laws so suddenly the statute of limitations no, no longer matters. Do you realize that this will come around, that they're red pilling a country when you select group of people feel you need to be punished? Yep. It's predicated not on you being wrong, but they believing that you are evil, then they think that they have a right to destroy you. Yeah, give me all your cash or I take all your property. Yeah. That's not the American way. I would just say this, that every time they bend the rule of law to try to get Trump, they make him more powerful. And if you're weighing the court of public opinion versus the court of legal opinion, Trump is clearly winning in the court of public opinion. So they've screwed themselves up. And then they're screwing over New York because the businesses who don't want to invest or are scurrying out of here or looking for other states that they want to go, which hurts everybody. So I think she's a very, Tish James, a very flawed messenger on this. And I hope that he can figure out a way to get some relief. This seems so unfair. And I understand, like, the legal reason of why you make somebody pay a bond and all that stuff, but 
it does, make, when Judge uh, Janine points out that no private company has ever been asked to do this, I do think that that makes a difference also for people at home watching. Mm -hmm. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.